गुड इवनिंग स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम टू द चैनल इंडिया अपडेटेड टुडे विल बी गोइंग टू डिस्कस द करेंट अफेयर्स रिलेटेड टू द मंथ ऑफ जून 2019 थाउजेंड स्पेशली दीज डेज देर हैव बीन वेरियस ब्रेक आउट ऑफ वायरसेज एट डिफरेंट पार्ट ऑफ द वर्ल्ड इंक्लूडिंग इंडिया एंड Coincidentally, the topic of viruses have been the favorite of UPSC. Right today, we'll be seeing the topic Nipah virus, along with West Nile virus and acute encephalitis syndrome. Now, since these diseases affect the common population of a country especially uh in a tropical country like india these topics therefore become prominent and an important part of prelims syllabus so the first thing we'll like to discuss what is nipa virus now this virus is an emerging zoonotic disease zoonotic disease means the disease that are carried by animals into humans now generally the dna sequence of human and animals are different but then how it is possible that such diseases can be transferred from animal to human let us see the topic so this nipah virus is actually carried out by the bats especially the fruit bats there have been several in- instances of this nipah virus break out especially the first instance was in 1998 in malaysia since then there have been break out of this disease in jan feb 2001 in west bengal siliguri and again in april 2007 in west bengal and the most currently in 2019 in kerala so the fruit bats have been identified as the carrier of this disease in kerala right now what we have read from ncert and what our common sense says that bats generally uh, capture their prey capture their prey yes bat generally capture their prey with help of ultrasonic waves but the fruit bats are quite different from their counterparts they locate their prey with the help of smell right it means the fruit bats generally find out their food with the help of smelling right now these are the natural hosts for nipah virus right now the fruit bats are also known as south and south Uh, the fruit bats are found in south and southeast asia and also they are known as the flying foxes now comes the next part now the fruit vi- uh, bats have been identified as the deadly virus that right, in kerala so question comes to our mind that why the fruit bats right or why the bats have been the carrier of these disease right now bats are not only carrier of nipah virus they are carrier of number of diseases in humans like the rabies like the uh, nipah like the hendra like the ebola and the marburg now among all these viruses which are carried by the bats the marburg virus 
has the highest rate of mortality and it can infect 80 to 90 percent of human beings. Now, the bats, the disease carried by bats, have gained prominence since last few years. The reasons are many. Firstly, the humans have been creeping into the bat territory, especially in the tropical area. Now, say the uh, humans have been clearing the forest, they have been clearing the uh, lands which was occupied by dense forest for agriculture and allied activities and hence they are coming in contact with these animals. Now, bats, they, lo they live in groups and bats themselves are in contact with each other, hence they become an easy career of such diseases. Now, the question again comes to our mind that why do not the viruses affect the bat? Now, bat use large amount of energy for flying and their body temperature at times reaches about 140 degree uh, Fahrenheit, sorry, 104 degree Fahrenheit, that is 40 degree centigrade. Now, the human body normal temperature is around 37 degree centigrade. Now, when these viruses attack human, the human body temperature rises. The body has its own defense mechanism to fight against these viruses, but again, 40 degree centigrade for human is life threatening. Hence, increasing body temperature do not have any effect on these viruses. It means they can tolerate the burning human fever. Now, do bat give us any benefit? Yes, bat definitely give us benefit. They are important pollinators. Pollinator means they help the flowers to pollinate the food several at several grains uh, and several fruits to pollinate on the other side they also eat away some mosquitoes now let us see a question of UPSC 2012 from this topic that they have given several organisms like bat, bee and bird and then they have asked which of the following are pollinating agent. Definitely the answer is D. Therefore you understood that how important this topic is for especially for prelims. Hope you like this video. Please comment about the video. Okay, thank you.